Hello everyone and welcome back to the Lands of Ice challenge here in Niche and we are carrying on right where we left off last time with several pregnant females who um, really are getting quite hungry to be completely honest. We now have a Cornea currently expecting her next child with Trill. Their young son Kale is right behind them. Anuar is expecting her very first child with Kakuku who uh, is like hunting bundles because Kakuku cannot resist seeing a bundle. If we see a bundle, he will stop mid-sentence and he will go ahead and leap after it. And we have just accepted into the tribe little Chunipper, who is quite chilled with her spiky body. She is not well adapted to the snowy lands as the ice continues to spread over the world and freeze the, the savannas and the flowery biomes where many nicheling tribes we, may once have existed. So she actually came with her rogue father who I am a little concerned might still be behind us and he is spiky body so we would really we would take some damage if we attacked him but I just realized Juniper if someone tries to defend her from her father and they take damage she can actually heal the nichelings with her ability to purr <gasps> she might have to go ahead and show off that purr ability then that would be really really cool that might be her way of uh contributing to the tribe but we also have this glacier right over here that we still need to crack so that hopefully we can figure out what the future of this young tribe should be after all, we are fleeing from the encroaching ice and we are trying to make sure that we don't stay on any island longer than 20 days because within 20 days, uh, the island will completely ice over and any nichelings left behind will be caught in the freezing ice. Uh, but that does raise a question of like, what if we have to leave a nicheling behind? Oh no! Welcome back everyone, and I just realized I've made myself quite uncomfortable with this scenario. Okay, we're going to gently modify uh, our story of what would happen if we had to leave Anishling behind in just a second. Uh, but I realized I just rambled through quite a few things, so if you have no idea what is going on, definitely check out the previous episodes, there's only two of them. Or check out the video description where you will find a list of our current rules, very important to read that over my friend or else you're going to be confused why we are going to be doing certain things. But if you check out the rules, you'll understand what our guidelines for this fast and furious challenge while we wait for the new niche update is. And if you check out the wiki, you can be once again blown away because oh my gosh, if you love our nicheling stories and sometimes you have trouble keeping them straight, trust me, I make the stories up and I have trouble with that. Definitely check out the wiki and like lay out all of your your like I don't know do you want bundle meat lay out lay out like whatever you want to your cookies from the cookie tribe tree in thanks because the the many amazing patrons who maintain the wiki for us for the nicheling side especially just blow me away and you're going to really love what you see there if you want to see like family trees and figure out what's going on with the nichelings so definitely check out the wiki definitely check out the rules if you're confused but i just realized there's going to be a little bit of a problem with the lore of our story after 20 days we have the rule we have to leave the island after 20 days because the island will completely ice over but I just realized what if we don't have enough room to take more nichelings with us? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm really worried this is a seven nicheling port and not an eight nicheling port. And we're about to have our seventh nicheling pop out of this ice block. And if that's the case, then what happens to the nichelings we have to leave behind? And story-wise, they're supposed to be frozen in the ice and left behind. Um, but we're going to modify that just very, very gently, okay? We're going to say that if we do have to leave a nicheling behind, it's because the ice bridge that leads to the next island is too unstable to accept any more nichelings. So if we tried to send 10 nichelings, then the ice bridge would break and the nichelings would be washed out to sea. However, there are other ice bridges 
on this island, as you can see. So we're going to say any nicheling left behind is going to try to help the potential of the tribe survive by going to those other islands and the other ice bridges. And our nichelings who are on a mission to gather all of the prehistoric genes following the legends of the Yukir tribe so that hopefully we can survive longer, we'll go towards the cold islands. So we are gonna have to leave some nichelings behind at some point, if not now in the future. But now I have provided and out so we won't just imagine that we have left them for death because that's kind of sad. But all right, enough of that rambling. We need to get some food and after careful consideration and trying, Anuar tried to speak with Kukuku about what they should do. They now have two pregnant nichelings, a young child, 22 pieces of food hoarded between them. Should they go ahead and try to continue on and search out new, new lands? But Kukuku was interrupted mid conversation by a bunnel. So he hopped away and bashed the bunnel over the head. Uh, oh gosh, that's something. I guess that sounds a little violent. Uh, he bopped the bunnel over the head with his tail, that beautiful hammer tail that I really hope uh, Anuar's children will keep the, the recessive genes of. But anyway, uh, yeah, bopped him over the head and Anuar just kind of sighed. You know, Kukuku is one of the prehistoric nichelings, so she does appreciate that he is at least a better mate than that terrible Trill, who she will protect as a member of her tribe, but is so grateful that she didn't have to be his mate. Good grief, poor Acornia. Um, but we're going to come over here and discover this ice block and this nicheling, and maybe whoever is hiding in here will help give us a sense of direction. I don't know if they will insist we should try to stand our ground for the next 13 days and gather as much food as possible, or if we should be more aggressive and move on and leave behind the weakest nichelings or the eldest because the tribe must survive. I think the fate of what we do for the final days on this island are going to be is going to mostly be determined either if there's so many bundles that Kakuku is too distracted or by whatever personality is in the nicheling in this ice so let's find out all right there we go nice new day nice new day and let's go ahead and we're gonna have a new R wiggling down looking for a nest not so high up in the the grounds i guess because we we can only clear regrowable grass having those permanent nests is actually going to be really important so we'll have to work on that um but we'll have a cornea because we've got to get food definitely have to get food all right we'll have little juniper kind of jump over here seeking warmth did the leech actually get on her? The leech did get on her. And then she'll come over to join the tribe and jump into the hot springs to be warm so that she won't freeze. And Anuar will wiggle this way. Aha! Seeking out food, even though she cannot snag berry bushes. Is there anything to dig nearby? Okay, nothing to dig, but there is a coconut, and while she pops over here, she has discovered not only delicious coconuts, not only a skull staring her straight in the eyes, but the new ice glacier, where she can hatch that open, hatch, will crack it open, and hopefully get a, a wonderful new gene. Or actually, if it's a hammer tail nicheling, that'll be good too, because if we breed direct siblings in this challenge, we have to give them really negative mutations. So it would be useful to actually have a, another hammer tail nicheling this early. Uh, all right, anyway, Kakuku shall continue to gather up the foods that he can find. In this case, the bunnels that he is quite eager to eat. <gasps> There's a crabbit over there. All right, I wonder if we can attack the crabbit. I guess Trill can help uh, and we'll have Kale he can gather up berries, so he'll come down here. Oh, and there's another nest. He'll come down here to gather up berries with his mother. And yeah, a cornea will come over to gather berries and we'll carefully not put her in the nest yet. I, I'm gonna have to see if that's like something we want to do. All right, and Kukuku is going to call over Trill, even though Trill is not so certain about this, and say that they should start exploring for more bunnels, more fresh meat. Uh, all right, yeah, we might want to go back up the mountain for the fresh bundle meat too because the grass slows us down And I don't think a cuckoo would be happy about that. He wants the open thrill of the hunt Oh, the open thrill of the hunt has arrived Excellent 
to the food, Kukuku. I just love this idea that he like launches himself into the air with a call of like Kukuku and dives up to the different bundles. Um, and then I wonder, Trill, can you actually get that bundle? Trill cannot, but Lil Kale can! Huzzah! Teamwork makes the dream work, I suppose, and we now have a little bit more food, which is excellent. Uh, also, Juniper, I think, is just hopping from hot spring to hot spring getting food too. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and we'll have little Acornia come down here because she'll want to see what um, what Noir is up to and try to help out in her own way. Wow, look at all that food we got all of a sudden. That is fantastic. All right. Well, let's go ahead. We also have to be mindful. We only have nine days left before Inuar is going to pass away. She's surprisingly getting up there in age. But let's go ahead and see. What will the new addition to the tribe be? We have carefully kept our pregnant females away from nest. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven spots. So we might be able to go ahead and jump to a new island. We do only have 11 days left on this island. We'll have to go ahead with a great growl and quite a bit of uh, of hope that this will save the future of her unborn child. A Anuar will lift up her paw and crack the ice. Unveiling a child, a baby. It is a baby with a hammer tail. Oh my gosh. We have revealed a young one, Tataro, of course. I could, I, I think that like as the ice crumbles about him, as it reveals a child who brings back memories of both the legends of the Cookie tribe and their love of spots and faint, faint memories, maybe a scent of berries that recalls the Seeker tribe. Little Tataro looks up, brushing the ice crystals away and looks at Anuar and she asks, what is your name, young one? And he says, Tatata or Tata row and I think Anuara would just kind of be like of course so a descendant of Tata uh somehow some way it was inside of that glacier and is probably going to have a grand old time being best friends with Kale and will probably be a perfect mate for Anuar's child in a twist of irony because her child will have Hammertail recessive and uh Tataro uh will actually ha has Hammertail and Decent fertility. What are your genes, little one? You're sickly? Of course. I think at the first sneeze, a new would just like throw her arms up in the air and be like, of course you are. <laughs> so he's not even going to live that long. Oh my gosh. All right. Well, a sickly young one who is going to die pretty soon uh, it kind of answers what we should do next. We should probably stay here and gather as much food as we can. And the Nuar should have the children that she can with her mate so that hopefully that hammer tail can at least be solidified and passed on into uh, into the tribe. So hmm, that's gonna be that's gonna be kind of interesting. Uh, since we cannot put hammer tail into the mutation menu, since it does count as being too complex for the sake of the challenge. So Tataro, welcome. I'm going to scoot you over so you don't go and get us sick. Uh, and this kind of settles that we'll spend the next 10 days on this island. All right. Yep. There he goes. Sneezing. Oh, no. And you are just got back on the head with a coconut. I really think that she would once again just be like, of course. Like, she's not amused with any of this. And Acornia is a little concerned as well. All right. But Juniper is quite worried because now Anuar has been hurt. She will come down from her perch. She will go ahead and purr. That has now given healing powers to uh, Anuar. And then let's see. Can I gather up? And we can gather up some of these berries that are nearby. So Juniper will stay here to watch over uh, Anuar. Acornia is gonna go ahead and jump back up to this nest. Uh, if she can, she now has healing power and she's warmed up so that she can tell her mate and uh, tell her son what has been going on down at the shore. And I'm gonna have Tataro go ahead and kind of explore around a little bit. He has Hammertail as well, as well, so maybe he is one of Kukuku's, uh, like, family members from the tribe that got frozen. 
or was frozen willingly in this case so that they could carry on the skills to adapt uh, when it when in the future another tribe would need them so tataro oh man and these are poison of course of course it would be. Uh, I'm going to have Tataro kind of do a little adventuring on the sidelines, but not go too far. He's probably, hopefully Anuar is going to have a female, and he's probably going to have to be that female's mate. Uh, and Kukuku, I think he would call Kale up. Aha! Kukuku! And with that cry, he would dash away to do hunting and drag Trill after him because he would insist that this is the perfect mountain for hunting and they should gather as much food as possible so that uh, the descendants, the children, will be able to go forward across this particular ice bridge and search out more nichelings, search out more of the lost bits of the snowy tribes. Uh, but they must have their strength, so we must gather up what resources sources we can. Plenty of bunnel meat uh, atop this frozen mountain. No doubt. All right. I'm so sorry, Anuar. I need to- hopefully she'll be- <gasps> No! Did she just get hit in the head again? I think she did. Oh my gosh. I feel so bad for her. Thankfully, like, she is not dying, at least? Uh, all right. We need to get this food. Tataro. Wow, you're a good hunter. And now there's a rogue male. Um, okay then. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to have a cornea. She's still in healing mode. I'll have Kale jump over here and grab that food and then get a little bit of distance. And I'm going to have a cornea. I guess she can go ahead and have her child now. Uh, we could probably wait a little bit longer. We have nine more days on this island. And any of her children, Kale is a good example of what her children might be. Purse, now recessive. Kale really needs to become mates with Juniper. That might happen on the next island. It might happen on this island. They're actually perfect mates. No pun about the purse, now intended. Um, so I guess a cornea is probably gonna end up staying. So I'll go ahead and let her get comfortable. Oh, jeez! Juniper, you do not need that nonsense following you around. Oh, my goodness. Um, run? Run? That's right, buddy. You can't mess with us. All right, so she's fleeing. Juniper's fleeing, but this is a good time for Kale to try to defend her from this rogue. Uh, and meanwhile, over here, a certain somebody. Okay, Trill, let's have you hunt down here. All right, yeah, Trill's not very good at hunting. Yeah, Kukuku is going to start turning around in a minute here. But we'll, we'll look at all those bunnels. The bunnel hunting is so rich on this mountain. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this is going to go pretty well, I think. Uh, but poor Cornea, she's just... Well, actually, there's another nest down here, isn't there? I'm going to go ahead and let her actually wiggle down here to the seaside nest to have her baby. And where did that rogue go? Did he... Okay, there's a lot of bunnels down here. This is a good spot to look for bunnels. All right, hopefully this will go okay. I can't believe we have one of Tata's children. Uh, yay, and then you are, it's free. <laughs> she can burst away and come over to the regrowing nest. Oh my gosh, we've got to have these babies. And we have, okay, all right, there's food. There's bundles to be caught and there's only eight days left on this island. So we need to kind of pull everybody back down. Having everyone on this island for only 20 days is actually going to be a lot more challenging than I thought. Uh, and I mean, Tataro could live longer than that, but probably better just to go ahead, let Anuar have a child and move to the next island. But holy cow. Okay, guys, things are going to pick up from here. And now that we have a new member, everything will go well. And now that I've gotten going again, and it's been a couple days since I recorded, so I kind of needed to just get my feet back under myself. We are going to really be picking up the pace. You guys should definitely know the rules by now. Hopefully, if people are confused or curious, you can answer in the comment section. Look in the video description. Look at the amazing wiki to all of them who aren't paying attention. And we'll be able to progress because we are definitely going to be leaving this island next time and hopefully having a flurry of really interesting babies who can survive. If we survive this challenge, I'm actually beginning to feel as a little dubious. Uh, so I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.